Opa, you're back with Jack the Greek again for another episode. Today, we're preparing a dinner for a few friends that are coming over tonight. They're expecting pizzas, but we're going to put on a goat on the Crossway Barbecue. This will challenge everybody now with a beautiful Crossway Barbecue. So let's give it a go. The goat has been provided to us by our friends Betty and Dimitri from, our, from the farm in Kilmore. So it's beautiful, fresh and free range. So let's start preparing it. What we're going to do first, you're going to put a bit of white wine over the goat. It gets rid of that sort of gaminess and it gives it a bit of flavour of wine. Beautiful. Just rub it all in everywhere like this. Turn it over and here we go again. Beautiful. That's it. Give it a good rub. That's it. And the rest, just pour it in. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's put a bit of olive oil on top of that. And we're going to put some olive oil in the pan as well. And here we go. Look at this. Beautiful. Put some salt and pepper all the way around. The olive oil actually helps with the salt and pepper stick to the meat. Turn it over. Put some inside like that. Look at that. Beautiful. That's it. And you're going to do this right. You're going to make sure that the whole goat is covered with plenty of salt and pepper. And it will also help the skin crisp up. Just like this. Now, we don't want the, the goat to stick at the bottom of the pan. So right underneath, we'll put a little bit of this paper on one side. And a bit on the other. Oh, there we go. And we'll just put the goat just like that. And we'll close it in together. We'll wrap it up like that. And in it goes. That's beautiful. All covered and all protected. Beautiful. That's it. You're not going anywhere now. Now, we've got some potatoes. Again, very simple. We wash our potatoes, then just cut them up into halves. Put as many as you like, and as many as can fit the pan. Just like that. Beautiful. Nice and big, because it will take about four hours to cook. So we do want to make sure that nothing melts away. Now, Jack the Greek will cut a couple of onions and just put them inside. Just like that. Beautiful. Go. In they go there. I also like to cut a tomato. It adds a bit of flavour. And we'll cut into fours. There we go. Straight inside a beautiful goat. And Jack, straight from the orange tree in the backyard. We we'll cut the orange in into fours as well. There we go, beautiful. Just put a bit on it like that, a bit of orange, and put the peels in. It all adds to the flavor. And put the other oranges in there as well. Excellent, excellent. I will put a bit of lemon as well over the potatoes on the side. Beautiful, just like that. That's it, just over here. We'll put a couple of bay leaves just around to give it some flavour. And a bit more olive oil on top now that we're finished. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. We expect this to take about three and a half to four hours to cook. Grab a couple more potatoes, just put them inside, fill it up, fill up his stomach. So here we go. Another one there, another one there. Just a couple over here. Put them everywhere you can, it doesn't make a difference, they will all cook. Leave it there. Beautiful. 
Excellent. Okay, the last part is we're gonna put some water in the bottom so it, so it can cook and also that it stays moist. I like to use hot water because it helps with starting the cooking as soon as you put it in the oven or the crossroad barbecue in this instance. Put it all the way around, all the way through. There we go. And we do have the kettle here for a bit more water. Couldn't fit in the jug. And away we go. Beautiful. A bit more salt and pepper just on the, on the potatoes. Squeeze the lemon. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we do need to cover it. So we'll use our foil. Just nice and easy. Make sure you seal the edges properly. One more in the middle. Oh, that's a bit short, that one. Now we're ready to put our beautiful goat on the Crossray barbecue. A full goat, ladies and gentlemen. A full goat on a beautiful Crossray barbecue. It's ready to go. And in it goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. See you in four hours. Opa! It's getting a bit cold outside. Our guests are nearly here. So what we want to do right now is have a look at it and see how it's cooking. Let's have a bit of a look. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ah, I can smell it. It's beautiful. Let's have a look. Let's take all the foil off. You can always put new foil. You want to make sure that it's all cooking well. Oh, look at this smell. It is beautiful. Oh, look at that, the steam. Oh, look at that. Look at this, look at that, look at, look. It's just falling off the bone. Look at that, beautiful. Let's have a look. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, look at that, beautiful. Look at that. What we'll do now, and as you can see here, it's already starting to come through and falling apart. Beautiful. We will cover it up again for another half an hour or so. Then when our guests come, when they think they're having pizza, we'll take off the, the cover so it all just browns and hardens. Make sure we've got enough juices. Perfect. Seal it up all the way around. Close the lid on the crossray. See you back soon. Hoppa. Here we are, we're back now for the final stage. Our guests are inside, getting ready to have dinner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bit, a bit of a mezze on. Now let's plate up our, our beautiful goat. Look at it there, look at that. Beautiful, it's ready to go. It's been cooking for now nearly four hours. And now we're going to plate it up. Look at this. Beautiful. Look how easy it just comes off the bone. Look at this. Beautiful. And that's how we're going to serve it. Straight into the bowl. And we're going to put a bit of lemon and a bit of salt and pepper now. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. Look at that. Look at it just come off. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent, look at the bone, we'll put the bone there as well. Look at that, just some chunks of meat. We'll put it on the table. And look at the bones, look at the bone just come straight out. Beautiful, look at that, excellent. 
Beautiful, look at that. That's it, we'll keep going. We've got a couple of ribs here. Look at that, the ribs just breaking off. Excellent. There we go. Beautiful. A bit of better as we call skin. He'll grab a bit more of the meat around the leg. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Boy, look at that. Look how it's just falling apart. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's it. Now what we'll do is, we'll leave that there. Oh, 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 let's grab this little bit. Beautiful, look at that, straight off the bone. Okay, now what we'll do is, we'll put a bit of crushed pepper, straight on top, a bit of salt. There we go, and straight from the garden, a bit of lemony. Look at that. Opa. And once again, a beautiful meal from Jack the Greek. Opa! We're back again with Jack the Greek. Our guests have just arrived. They think we're ordering pizzas, but little do they know, we have some beautiful meat in here that's been cooking for the last three and a half hours. As I promised earlier, we're gonna take the foil off and let it brown on top and let the skin crisp up. So let's have a quick look. Oh, look at it go. The foil's even coming off on its own. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, listen to that. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. And let's just make sure we check the oil and the water levels at the bottom. Fantastic. Let's put it in now for about 15 minutes and it'll be ready to go. See you soon.